Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another review video for you. Today we'll be looking at the Donner DBU 200 Concert Scale Banjo Ukulele. I did an unboxing video of this oh, a couple months ago and I'll leave a link for that up here. Uh, so before I dive into the instrument, let me go ahead and quickly go over the accessories that come with this because it does come with a number of accessories. Let's start off with the gig bag. The gig bag is a very basic kind of a big gig bag. It does have the Donner logo, which is silk screened here in the pocket. It has a pocket, not very, very uh, wide, but it certainly accepts all the accessories that come with it. The padding on this is maybe, oh, five to 10 millimeters, probably closer to 10. Um, it does have two shoulder straps and it has a very uh, basic kind of a handle. It's slightly padded, but not a whole lot of padding. Uh, but ultimately, it's a basic gig bag that gets a job done. This is, it does come with three picks or plectrums for folks who do like to use those. It also comes with an extra set of ukulele strings. Again, these say Shang musical instruments. Uh, the uh, strings that come on the instrument are aquilas, but the spares are not aquilas. It also comes with a basic uh, tuner. It comes with a fairly substantial uh, Donner branded shoulder strap, which is nice because these can be heavy. It also comes with this uh, wrench and tool for adjusting uh, both the hardware here on the instrument and also for the, the coordinator rod, which is inside the instrument. And you would adjust that if you need to change the pitch of the neck somewhat. I've been playing the instrument now for oh, a couple months and I've had a chance to get to know it pretty well. I've noticed some things I might not have noted in my unboxing video, which I'll, I'll point out here in this one. Let me start by saying this instrument has a mahogany neck and a laminate sapele body. You can see that uh, this instrument has a, a, a veneer on the headstock, which is this dark material. But it's not a really thin veneer. It's a fairly substantial thick veneer, which looks very nice. You can see here on the headstock that it has the Donner logo, and that logo uh, appears to be silk screened on it. It has some, some basic uh, tuning machines, nothing fancy going on there. They get the job done. And I should say that they've mostly held tune, although for some reason it seems like the, the C string is um, a little out of tune when I come back to play it. I'm not sure, maybe that one particular tuner, I don't know, doesn't hold quite as firmly, I don't know. Maybe that string just keeps on stretching, I don't know. But otherwise, they seem to be pretty much uh, stay in tune. Uh, this instrument has a very dark colored fretboard. The material is not described in the nomenclature for this. It looks like it might be like a rich light or some sort of uh, technical wood or manufactured wood. But nicely, you can see it does have this nice white binding on it. And, and you can see that it does have position markers here on the player side, as well as the position markers on the face of the, the, uh, of the soundboard. It's worth noting that because this is written, has a bound fretboard, there are no sharp frets on the fingerboard. This instrument came well set up. I use my string measuring guide here at the 12th fret, and it's two millimeters at the 12th fret, or 0 0.100 inches. String actions is good with no buzzing frets anywhere along the fretboard. The nut material is not described in the nomenclature, so I presume that to be plastic, although I'm not certain. You can see here that the, uh, the bridge is made of maple, with an ebony uh, cap, it serves as the saddle. I should note that uh, there are some features of this particular instrument that I have not seen in some other manufacturers that I particularly like. And that is here, you can see that this, this uh, screw for adjusting the tail piece here, um, it's not just a regular um, nut. It is uh, this nut that um, is elongated, and so you can get in there with this adjustment tool here and you can turn that to adjust that and that's not always the case. Also you can see that these strings are uh, held in place. The strings are, I'm not sure if you can even see that, 
but the strings are held in place in that the strings are tied in a knot and then that knot goes into like a black plastic ball which is nice because that ball is not going to pull through the tailpiece and it's less apt to have sharp edges from the tailpiece cutting that string which is a nice feature. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the sapele material uh, and you can see it has a nice look to it, a nice sort of stripe going on. As I said, the, the neck is made of mahogany and it looks like it does have a, a, a sort of a reddish uh, stain to it to kind of give it a consistent hue with the body. The sound head is a Remo sound head and I should say I've played some other instruments that don't use Remo sound heads and I think to my ear the Remo sound heads do sound better. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to this. So you may have heard that this thing is plenty loud. <laughs> and I've mentioned before that uh, for some people who want to tone these down, you can take the screws off of the back of this, which would make it just an open back banjo lele. And you can stuff like a sock or something between the coordinator rod and the sound head to kind of muffle that a bit and quiet it down a bit if you need to. And I've done that with other open back instruments as well. So. What's my overall impression of this? Uh, this is a nice banjo lele. Um, I have seen, uh, I think, what, three, three banjo leles by different manufacturers. And this one here, I should say, uh, certainly holds its own or is better than some of the other ones I've seen. And you can check my reviews to see some of the other ones that I have done. So overall, I would say I would give this a, a positive review. So if you're in the market of looking for a, a banjo lele, a, a concert scale banjo lele, this is certainly one to consider because it's certainly very, very competitive with uh, the others out there. I hope you found today's review video helpful. If you're in the market for a concert scale banjo lele, hopefully I've presented enough information about this one to help you make a decision. If you like this channel, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of the instruments that I review or the instruments that I make, uh, please subscribe. I'd love to have you come back and, and see more of them. Thanks for watching.